Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're still at the office of Jeremiah Fink and uh, yeah, right in front of a bunch of uh, soldiers who were brutally executed by the fox. Well, before we uh, executed the fox themselves. Um, we're almost where we need to be. But I'm gonna check out the areas to the sides here because... Let's check out this area here first, because I think there's a few things in here. Because this is one of those uh, assembly lines where they make vending machines. Uh, I can't use possession on any one of those that's just hanging here. But I can use it on, of course, the ones that are working. Which should net as a pretty penny, if I am uh, not mistaken. That was at least 40 silver eagles. 40 more. And... Yeah, that was even more. That was 60. Let's check them out, because we haven't checked out the upgrades lately. So, since we got charge, we got a few extras now. We have Shock Chain Aid, which adds the ability to chain lightning strikes from one enemy to the other. Then Crow's Boost increases the stun duration of the Crow's Charge Aid, adds brief invulnerability on attack and recharges shield, which is very nice and is something I want. And then Bronco Boost increases the duration of the enemy's float time. I don't think we need that just yet because they stay in the air quite a long time. Although, times two is really long, especially for those armored enemies. So let's do that. There we go. Bucking Bronco completely upgraded. Can't do anything more with that. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. You didn't say anything, but I saw the prompt pop up. And then the weapons. Um, The damage boost on the hand cannon is probably the most interesting one. Or even on the sniper rifle. I'm gonna go with the hand cannon first. There we go. And that kind of removes practically all our money. There's nothing here further on, I think. And there's not even a voxophone in here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, so let's let's check out uh, Jeremiah Fink's office because um, it's of course right over here, and it's a very very big office with a nice view of everything. Uh, I'm just gonna check everything because there's a lot of money here as well, right? I kind of forgot about that. There's even a golden bar, and if you check golden bars, 326 coins is what we have now. And now we have 800, so um, there's 500 coins in a single golden bar. Don't know how we get the money from a golden bar right here and now, but uh, yeah, that's how this game works for some reason. And that's pretty much it, aside from the voxophone underneath a drawing of Songbird. These holes have shown me yet another wonder, though I've yet to see the application for it. They illuminate a merger of machine and man that is somehow the lesser yet the greater of both parties. The process seems to be irreversible. <laughs> Perhaps, though, Comstock will have some need of this kind of thing to keep watch in that tower he is building. These holes have shown me yet another wonder. So we know from our previous Voxophone that uh, Jeremiah Fink got the idea from his brother to use stairs to, uh, well, practically steal stuff from other timelines. Uh, his brother used it to, well, simply uh, steal music. But Jeremiah Fink was looking for technology and he said he found a world where man and machine were merged. And yeah, it's kind of hinted at here that he was looking at a tear to Rapture and that the mechanical mergers he's talking about are actually big daddies because the process is irreversible, uh, similar to how Songbird and the Handyman are uh, irreversible changes to the man hidden inside those suits. But yeah, it's the same with the big daddies, of course. But yeah, that's all there is to it. And now, a new vigor, Undertow. Because we've heard the, this uh, vigor a lot uh, at the Veni Vidi vigor machines. Because uh, the commercial on it always talks about the uh, amazing Undertow. And that just looks horrible. But let's see what that does. Press to wash away your enemies. 
hold to grab enemies and release to reel them in for punishment. So, I like Undertow, especially on levels that have, well, no railings that you can push enemies off. But the only problem to me with Undertow is that it costs a lot of uh, salt. Because I think it's pretty much the same as possession. No, it's even more than possession. It costs more to wash somebody off the side of Colombia than it costs to um, possess somebody. That is not... Not that uh, handy, but let's let's open up this hairpin lock. No problem. And uh, I'll check it out nonetheless. I'm gonna show you anyway. But oh, Got oh it. my god! I missed two cash bags over here. I am freaking blind. I hear everybody screaming in the comment section. And look at this. We're at the top of uh, Fink Tower, if you want to call it that. And uh, Fink is right over there, as you can see, because you can see him standing there under uh, yeah. At gun gunpoint, but held at gunpoint by uh, Daisy Fitzroy. Okay! Yes, indeed. Let's go check that out because uh, she is screaming. No! And goodbye, Fink. And it looks like Daisy has completely Damn lost it. Burn their bodies when you're done. So there we go. That's talking about us. I'm gonna go over here at the high ground, that's gonna give me a better position to start doing this. Uh, I think that... Because I hear... There we go. Yeah, there's a... There's a fireman over there. Jesus. Oh, get me back up. Okay. That got my shield back. There we go. And I think there's a, an ultimated patriot over there. Oh, Jesus. Street Sweeper. Is he dying? Yeah, he is. Oh, God. Just switch routes! Okay, there he goes. Jesus, that was that was intense. Handyman, kill it! Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Because this is probably one of the harder fights in the game. Ooh, do, 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 do. Gonna have to be careful here, because. Thank you. Great. Oh god. Oh look, infusion. And now we have Anuto. There we go. Oh shit! Ow! That was a uh, pretty high. Oh god! Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, help packs, help packs, help packs. RPGs. That's something. So, okay, I can go around here. Where is the handyman? Oh shit! That's all I have right now. Damn it! Street sweeper, though, got a trophy for that. And now we have one of the weirder death scenes. Um, we're still back in that investigative's office. What just happened? I'm actually gonna swap to uh Where the hell is this guy coming from? Just gonna go back up again. Stop running. 
Okay. Where the fuck did he go? I so need mad kids. Fuck you. Monk, monk, attach, attach, attach. Oh, damn it. Every step is like calls. Because I think uh, the problem with this fight is that. Oh, oh. Ow, 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 attach. Ooh. Stop doing that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Really, really need it. I'll keep my eyes open for more. Ow. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. Oh, pop, pop, pop. Go away. Oop. Yeah, because he's uh, electrifying the skyline now. Every step is like cold. It's all I've got. Jesus. There we go. I'm just gonna go back up there. I only died once, which is actually pretty good in this fight. Let's open that up. Open, open that up. No? Aww. I wanna open that up. I want another sniper rifle. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I'm actually gonna loot the place before we're gonna do anything else. Because there's quite a bit of loot around here. Uh, I'm just gonna get the repeater now. And I'll see you guys in a second. Because right over there you can actually see the first lady already. Because uh, if you remember a while back that was what we're actually here for. We need the first lady to get back to, um, well, back to wherever Booker came from, because we don't actually know where he came from, to get Elizabeth to his employers. But let me loot the place for a second. Oh, look, look, telescope. Oh, oh my God, that's a crappy texture. There we go. At least that got me one more thing for the sightseer trophy. So, stocked up and uh, a change of weapon weaponry, so now I'm using the repeated and the volley gun. Let's go back up here. Oh, let's swap that out, the carbine. Uh, the salt, I can always use more salt. And yeah, Fink's dead body. Let's go check out if we can't find... Um... No, 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 no! So Elizabeth is yelling no. Kill that child. Booker, we have to do something. We have to act. We have to get in there. So uh, we can actually we, we open up. Get out of here. Boost me up. We can actually help Elizabeth into the vent. I'm actually gonna check this out. A burst gun. This is something else. Um, let's just leave that for now and let's uh, boost Elizabeth into the vent here. And here we go. Giddy up. Go to the window and distract Daisy. Go. And then she's gonna try and save this kid. So let's distract Daisy. Hello, Daisy. I'm right Is over here. It? Is this your movement, Daisy? This is what needs to be done. You see, the founders ain't nothing but weeds. Cut them down and they just grow back. If you want to get rid of the weed, you gotta pull it up from the root. It's the only way to be. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. I guess it runs in the family. So, uh, a pair of scissors to the heart is uh, how Elizabeth got rid of Daisy Fitzroy. So now both Fink and Fitzroy are dead. So let's comfort Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, easy. 
Yeah, that's a lot of blood. And there she goes with the scissors still in her hand. Um, of course, now our first instinct would be to run after Elizabeth, but there's two uh, two rooms in, um, on the side here. So let's pick up the infusion and boost up our assaults. Perfect. There we go. Is there something else here? I don't think there is. It's just the infusion. But on the other side we have, uh, yeah, Fink's body. And I think he actually has... He doesn't have loot. Okay, but there is a voxophone from uh, Booker DeWitt himself again. It's right. You win this fool war. You send this to New York. <laughs> they ain't getting the girl. Whoever they are. <laughs> Maybe I did right by you and the Vox. But in the end, they don't square anything. Anna, I'm sorry. It's been a while since we heard the name Anna, so we know it's either his, probably either his wife or his uh, his dead child, uh, which is of course the uh, initials that are on his hand as well. And that was uh, the final words of uh, this dimension's Booker the Wit. But now we're still alive, so let's uh, continue towards the uh, First Lady airship once more, because we've been here, of course. Um, but there's a few more supplies in here than they were before because of course this was a Vox ship for a while and I think that door was closed up until now so we can actually bang on the door I think yeah Elizabeth but we don't get a response let's knock again look I've been there he's been there of course because he killed a lot of people I don't know if there's any more no there's no uh, no more dialogue over here so let's Let's set a course. I don't know if Elizabeth's gonna agree with us this time, but let's let's set a course. A working class hero. So Fink is gone. Daisy Fitzroy is gone. So now uh, we can focus on either getting out of here, or I don't know if Booker changed his mind by now. Hello, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And there we go. Transformation complete. This is all they had. Listen. How do you do it? How do I do what? Forget. How do you wash away the things that you've done? You don't. You just learn to live with it. So the moment of truth between us. New York or Paris? But... We have a different no, 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 problem. No, no. Shit. Come on, we gotta find a way to make this thing go faster. Hello, Songbird. Let's change course. There's gotta be some sort of, some sort of throttle or accelerator. Do you know something. what that looks like? I don't know. Help me find it. <gasps> Hello. Elizabeth! Hang on to something! Ah, oh, and that's turning it upside down. Oh. Okay, we kind of had a flash there. Is, 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 try again. All right, Hold on. Here you are. And we hear a familiar uh, couple again. Booker, we've got to stop them. No, that's the E. No, that is certainly. Booker, it. hurry. No, it's not. It is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Try again. Play the whole no, you song, try. he'll come back. Fine. So there we go. If they, if they play the whole Booker, song, hurry. he'll come back. Um, no, we'll discuss yes. Songbird in a second. It Let's is, open the hatch. Is not pay attention. So they're trying to recreate the song we just heard in, to, in the airship. Stop it! There we go. Stop it! You don't know what you're doing. So hello, Latessis. There it is. No, 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 no. You've done it now. He's, he's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him, he will take you where you need to go. If you know how to sing to him. He will take you where you need to go. Do you care to hear anything else, brother? Perhaps a waltz? Look at this thing. I love this scene. I love every scene with the Latessas. Come on, let's take the card. Who are you? We are where we 
are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? <sighs> and they're gone again. Well, at least they left the piano. Well, the interesting way is how they put that. Who are you? And they answered, we are where we're needed. Not we are who we're needed or what we're needed. What is needed? They just say we are where we are needed. So it's a it's a weird way of putting it. There we go. Let's push away the piano. So Songbird has some kind of connection to Elizabeth, similar. That's Comstock House. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. Similar to uh, the Big Daddies with their little sister. So the same protective bond kind of. We're hearkening back to the fact that uh, Fink got the ID from S of Songbird from the Big Daddies of Rapture. So now everybody's trying to leave. Where are these people going? Wherever the Vox Populi ain't. So uh, you can see the ship is already imbalanced because of all the the luggage on it. Let's loot a lot of these things. There we go. But uh, the people of Colombia are really selfish dicks, so they're not going to do that. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, because there's nothing left here, if I'm not mistaken. Not even the little bag here. Oh, I can search the little bag. Shotgun ammo. So a lot of desperate people. Um, not that that's any, uh, well, anything to us at this moment, because they've done a lot of horrible things to us by now. Let's take a look around. A lot of food around the place. Hail fire ammo, so in indicating the uh, Vox version of the, the volley gun. So let's keep going, and we need to go to Comstock House. It looks like similar to uh, Mount Rushmore over there, and there's a building on top of it with giant searchlights. So we might need to go over there. Let's activate the mosquito already, because that thing might uh, help us out in shooting a few enemies. There we go. Just gonna try and kill most of them from here. There we go. Because I, I've uh, died before on this fight because it's kind of a, an annoying fight. Because there's a lot of enemies here. She's inside the the stair there. Jesus Christ. Do Let's it. activate the mosquito again. There we go. The game hunter, so that's the trophy for the carbine. Elizabeth. Sure Let's go over here and maybe even shock jockey. They're gonna walk into the water puddle. No? I just wanna wanna change things up a bit. Could just activate the mosquito again to try and lure them over here. No? I'll cut you in half. Execute me. There we go. Hey, little piggy. Incredible. What is my combat skills? So, another thing I wanted to mention is the clothing she's now wearing. And, of course, the change in appearance that she cut her own hair. Uh, the clothing is, of course, Lady Comstock's dress that she found in the First Lady airship. Which is fitting, of course, because it's... Well, we can already assume that Lady Comstock is not her mother. And it's kind of ironic that she's now wearing her dress. Uh, let's open up the med kits and the health kits. There we go. I'm just going to loot the place a bit and I'll see you guys in a second. So mostly a bit of ammo and there's again a lot of people uh, murdered here by the Vox. 
because of, uh, well, the fact that they were running away. And they were completely harmless, but they got murdered anyway. Um, let's search their corpses nonetheless. Don't want their uh, their money to go to waste. Ooh, there's a hand cannon. He wanted any part of this. Did you? <coughs> Did you? Yeah, because you kind of created this world, Elizabeth. Um, it's not entirely your fault, but you did create this world here. I think, yeah, that's the hail fire gun. I could pick that up instead of the... Let's try this, because this is kind of a burst fire volley gun. It fires a few grenades at the same time, so not really useful. Ooh, there's not a lockpick over here. In most scenarios, except against uh, heavy hitters, there's not a burst underneath there. Come on. Thank you. Every little thing helps. So let's go uh, inside of this area over here and uh, pick the lock Could you again. Take a look at this lock. Really? That little old lock. We're at Listen twenty lockpicks at the moment. That brings in the bird. It always has. When I was younger, I used to be excited when I heard it. Excited. He was all I had. He fed me, brought me books. He was. My friend. Friend? Until I grew up. And I hated him. Because he was my warden. But he's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? Just like me. Done. Well, you're not his pet. Come on, Elizabeth. Um, well, this is a, a, a little bit gruesome. So these people have been scalped. So tell us, Prophet, do you see us coming? Fitzroy is no better than Comstock. Was she? Uh, once people get their blood up, it ain't easy to settle it down again. This is on our hands, isn't it? Um, it kind of is, because we kind of helped out the revolution, of course. But both sides are uh, definitely not good. Because uh, even Fink's head is over there. Well, head of hair is over there. And then they have an empty spot for Comstock available. Uh, let's take a look around, because there's a few things here. Because you can actually activate a break hook Done. over here, which you can use to get up here. There we go, tear him a new one. And we can actually get a purse and a bit of gear. Skyline accuracy increases weapon accuracy when on skylines. Just gonna take it, not really use it for now. I'm gonna pick up the shotgun ammo and the lock pick. But that's pretty much everything here. So let's go back down. And I think this is the optional area. Yeah. Elizabeth, little help. So that three lockpicks. And then we have Vinny Vidi Vigor and the Fuller Bill Machine. Pick up all the money they can give us. Especially at this point in the game, it's really worth it trying to uh, get that uh, going. Um. I'm actually going to save up for charge aid, because that's going to help us a bit. Yeah, thank you, Elizabeth. By accident, uh, 300 coins? No? Oh, it was quite a lot, actually. It was over 200 coins. Uh, the heater, so we've seen that before at the at Soldier's Field, at the amusement park. There was a replica on the wall of this weapon, and we used it for uh, a brief moment. Um, and then over here in the back, we have another infusion ready for us. So let's go with a health infusion, and we're starting to uh, near the ending of our infusion possibilities. Let's take the Vulligan ammo, a bit of beer, a bit of beer and a pistol. Don't really need that. And I think that's it for this side of the room. Let's check out the other side. Ooh, money. Thank you very much. A little bit. Not that much, but all, every little bit helps. And then a bunch of uh, trunks. So, let's keep going. Um, just check every possible container on the way. So now we can actually... Um, there we go. I actually want to try a few combinations I haven't done yet. So Devil's Kiss. So there's one gun. And I think I can actually combine... A bucking Bronco with charge as well. There we go. Combination shock. Knew that was one of the combinations. Oh, 
and there's another corpse just tumbling down from the sky. I am so sorry about that. Well, not really. I mean, these guys were gonna kill me either way. Uh, more trash cans with absolutely nothing in them. What's this? Pickwick, world's finest skyhooks. The imperial envy of the skyline. Move as fast as the devil through the heavens. Welcome to Emporia. So this is the area it's where uh, the fox were gonna attack. You don't think anyone can really see the future, do you? I, I saw something once when I first got here. A dream. It was New York, but larger than any New York I ever saw. It was burning. Hmm. None of the prophets' magic is rubbing off on you. So that is right. At the beginning of the game, we saw New York burning, getting attacked by uh, by Columbia itself. Okay, that missed everything. So there we go. There we go. And this thing is hard to aim. Where's the other one? No, there's another one. Let's, um. Boop. Goodbye! I think he was saying something, but he kind of got the. Uh, Murdered over there. We could actually bring in the motorized patriot as well, but it wasn't really necessary. I think this this area has a bit too much help for uh, for us. Um, well, because there's not really much going on here. I think Elizabeth found something again. Want to rub my nose in it that I missed something again? There's another telescope here. Let's watch through that. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I don't think there's any Easter eggs on this one either. If I'm not mistaken. Could be mistaken. I never saw something before, so. Would be weird that I started missing things. Um, so 26 out of 37. Quickly gonna look around here. Cake! And the Kranken might actually be a nice switch from the uh, hail fire. There we go, more silver eagles. And that's pretty much it, I think. Let's pick up the lockpick, and we're back at 20. That went actually quite fast. And then salts, health stuff, there we go. Don't really need any of that. And let's open up the another uh, hairpin lock. I'll see what I can do. I'm actually wondering whether you can, the, can get the roguish type trophy just by a hairpin locks. I guess I, I love this scene. I mean, I love this scene. Look at that. So there's, uh, the Litesses are over there again. And this is uh, a very, very interesting scene. So let's pull the lever and get up to Emporia. I just realized who those two are. They, well, at least she, invented the technology that allows the city to float. Giant balloons. Quantum particles, suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is... My book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive? That's not the subjunctive. I don't think the syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to have it been. Had to have had been. That can't be right. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Odd, isn't it? What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences. Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. <laughs> How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. So I love the Latesses and the mystery surrounding them. So Elizabeth said that they disappeared a while back and that she is responsible. We kind of knew that already. That she is responsible for the on, fact that Columbia floats. Um, and the reason why Columbia floats is because she invented particles that can be suspended at a particular height in space time, which is actually kind of correct science. 
Uh, it has been researched already, and there are things that can be suspended above other materials, but usually they need something underneath that, a specific element underneath that, to keep it afloat. But uh, it kind of makes sense. So there's a particle underneath each bit of Columbia that is at a fixed height, and that carries just everything, since apparently physics doesn't apply on those, uh, on those particles. I'm just running around with a meaning in my hand now. Just kind of re realized how ridiculous that looks. Um, but let's go a bit the seed further. Of the prophet shall sit in the throne. He was grooming me, wasn't he? Dog suck. Yeah, I think so. And why lock me up? Well, I'm guessing he didn't want to be groomed. Maybe he had something in the works to make him agree. Like what? I think it's best we don't find out. I think it's best we don't find out. He had something in the works, works to make him more agreeable. So to make her, uh, well, lose her mind, kind of. Um, the Litesses, I'm not going to tell you too much about it until we actually have a bit more information. But there's a really, really interesting story over there. So, uh... That was almost all my ammo for two guys. I hate this gun. I truly hate this gun. Um... So yeah, the Lithesis, I'm not going to tell you too much about it. They kind of hinted at a few things already with their playful, well, uh, experimentation with syntax and uh, everything else they were talking about. Help with this. Okay. There we go. So they were playing with the syntax that he was going to tell him, uh, her, that we were coming, but he didn't yet. We didn't... Take it. Period. So uh, they're kind of hinting at some, uh, well, some kind of time travel because they seem to appear and disappear constantly. But why they actually have that ability, that's not really sure yet. So let's keep it at that for now. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's. Can I actually? Oh, ooh, more hailfire ammo. Could actually use that because it's actually a really powerful weapon. There we go. Bit of uh, ammo for it again. Is that it? I think it's pretty much it. Okay, let's go back outside. And you know what? I'm actually going to take a little break. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to continue our way to Comstock House. There's a dude over there. Um. Hello? Um, goodbye. There we go. See you guys later.